Hello, good evening and welcome to the Organ at Hamwood Park. I've been experimenting for some years on different sounds because I didn't originally like the sound of this diapason, although this is much nicer than it used to be. And compared with the pipe organ behind, it just doesn't match up. And so the stop that I did find was on this unit up here, this open diapason. And I think that's a nice sound. Now I've been involved recently in discussions, indeed arguments, on organ forums as to the effect of loudspeakers on electronic organs. And what are really, really bad are two-way loudspeakers because they have to make compromises. And so I'm going to demonstrate the way in which compromises and speakers can actually make an enormous difference to how a stop sounds. We're going to start with a flute stop here, the Flutter Mirabilis. And here we've got a spectrum analyzer. And you can see when I... There we have a uh, middle C at 250, and the microphone sensitivity is slightly down. So there's 250, there's 500, that's 1000. Let's turn the sensitivity up of this, it might, be, might make it easier. So there's our tenor C at 125 hertz middle C, treble C, as the uh, uh, next octave C, and that's the next octave C. Now this is a flute sound, so you can see that this is very much a pure frequency. Now when I go to the open diapason, we can see the harmonic structure. If I go to the bottom C there, there's middle C, and so you can see uh, 256, 500, and 1000 there. There's not much above that. Next octave up, there's... So here, that's... 1000, um, which is there. There appears to be some subharmonics there, which is interesting. So here we're looking at the peaks of 500, 1000, and 2000. There again. 500, 1,000, and 2,000. Next one up. 1,000, 2,000, and 4,000. Now, many two-way speakers have a, a change between units at around but between 1,000 and 2,000. So, you can see that any uh, disruption of the 2,000 or the 1,000 frequencies, let's take them down as the 2000 down is going to really make it sound rather flat. Let's put a light. So we're going to experiment here moving 2000. That makes it sound horny but that gives it character. Take it out and it sounds plastic. Similarly, 1,000. Take it out, and it sounds plastic, it sounds fluty. And so this is the way in which um, uh, speakers have an enormous effect. Let's go and take the octave up. So here, let's take, there's 2,000. Let's take it out, because that's what a speaker will do confusing the sounds. It's 
sounds a bit lifeless. Let's take 1,000 out. There's 1,000. Well, it sounds like a sounds like a, a feeble clarinet. So let's have a look at a vox humana stop. Now this is a stop that really needs a lot of character. So there we are on treble C, and the treble C that's at one thousand, and at two thousand is the first harmonic, and that's a really important point. There, we can make it sound really horny by enlarging the 2000. Let's now take that out. And it sounds horrible. Let's take up, let's see what 1000 does. So 1,000 gives it quite a lot of character. Take it out. And it sounds quite plastic. So let's take out 500. Let's put 500 in. And so, when we come down the bottom, we can actually use um, exaggerations in speakers. I'm here exaggerating 1,000. Let's exaggerate 2,000. sounds rather interesting. Without that, it becomes lifeless. And nothing like the Vox Humana. It's just in large 2000s there. And it makes the stop sound really fruity. And so this is the way in which um, one can use um, uh, uh, exaggerations provided by loudspeakers to enhance stops. And at the same time, any deficiencies in, in speakers will really make sound stops sound very, very plastic, no matter what the sound source, and whether it's um, this technology or another technology or anything else. Let's go for a tuba. Let's bump up 2K. <laughs> it sounds a little bit more horny. Now... That sounds like a mild clarinet when we take the toque out. Um, put it in, and it sounds interesting. Let's put that in again. Let's bump up 1K. Well, that does an interesting thing. And basically, that frequency is really beefing up the character of the stop. When we take it out, it sounds like a plastic clarinet. And this is the importance of not using two-way speakers, which can cause confusion in these frequencies between 1,000 and 2,000 hertz. On the Vox Humana, um, you're in that region of 1,000, actually enhancing the uh, septium, the out-of-tune harmonic. In actual, and 
and we're very lucky on these units to actually be able to have a septium here to, there's the septium, uh, to add to things. So one can put in um, a quintadina stop and a tierce and a larigo and the septum will make it sound more reedy. Sounds very strange down there, but it's quite interesting. <laughs> 